Bell from the William Sonoma Test Kitchen. Bon appetito, the spaghetti facial. <laughs> and I'm so excited to introduce you to the new Heston Probon stainless steel cookware collection. If you love cooking with heavy bottom pots and pans, but don't like lugging it on and off the stove or to and from the sink, then this cookware collection is for you. Heston has a new cold forging process, which allows them to make pots and pans with heavy bases and rims, but really thin sides, so they heat up quickly, but they're still light and very durable. I'm gonna put this probe on to work by making one of my all-time favorite pasta recipes, pasta alla carbonara. This recipe was a staple growing up in my family, and my Italian grandmother, Noma, just shared her insane recipe with me. Today, I'm gonna to show you a little bit of a twist on it, because I can't give away all my secrets, but good news is it's way easier than you think. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is add three eggs. You wanna make sure your eggs are room temperature. That's a really important piece because that way they won't seize up or overreact when they hit the hot pasta later. Give this a quick whisk just to break up the yolks a little bit. Then we'll add in about one and a half cups of pecorino. Get this all combined. And heat a large skillet over medium heat to brown up some guanciale. Guanciale is a Italian cured meat that has kind of a nice peppery flavor, but if you don't have any on hand, you can just use pancetta or even bacon. It's gonna heat a little oil in our skillet. I'm gonna add our guanciale all at once. Mix around, get it in a single layer. This is where the heavy base of the pan really shines because the heat will distribute evenly and you won't have any weird hot spots. Okay, you can see how the fat is already rendering really nicely on our guanciale. I'm just gonna turn down the heat a second. That's why it's super nice to have these thick brims. It makes the pots and pans really durable so you can bang your spoon in and out of the dishwasher and it won't ding anything up. Okay, so I have a large pot of water boiling. I'm gonna add a generous pinch of salt. I'm gonna add my noodles to the water and we'll let these boil until al dente, probably about seven minutes or so. On this pot, you can really see the cold forge results. What I love about this is the water boils really quickly. And these rims are encapsulated in stainless steel. Great, now that my pasta is cooked till al dente, I'm just gonna move this over here. Wow, this is extremely light. Noticeably so much lighter than a traditional stock pot. I'm gonna rewarm my guanciale. Okay, now I'm gonna add my spaghetti right to the guanciale. I like to add the pasta right from the pasta water. I'm gonna add the eggy cheesy mixture. I'm also gonna add about half a cup of the pasta water, just to again help smooth it out a bit. And then give this a nice toss. I'm gonna give it a nice healthy grind of black pepper. The art of the pasta nest is to move the bowl, not the tongs. Slowly release it. And there you have it, the perfect pasta carbonara. To learn more about the Heston Probon Stainless Steel Cookware Collection and to get this amazing carbonara recipe, head to williamsonoma.com.